Robert George, an editorial writer at the New York Post, to talk about, uh, well, first, President Obama and gay marriage. Welcome. Good to be back here, Jason. So, Thank you. Robert, I, I wanted to ask you about the political calculation here and the president coming out with this statement before the election. We all sort of knew it's what he thought, right. but we thought he'd wait until after the election to make that clear. Um, he knows the polling on this, particularly with with black Americans. Um, he knows uh, there's one of you know his most loyal supporters in terms of constituencies. Um, he knows what the talk will be in the barbershops. He knows what the talk will be in the churches. Yet he did it anyways. How come? He did it anyway. Uh, well, this is one of those. This is one of those issues. It's like you know, if you're trying to play pool and doing a triple bank shot and things like that, because you you. No, I mean, I, it's it's very very clear that it, it was done for political reasons right. as opposed to prince as opposed to principle. Though, as you said, his principle where he actually feels on it is probably where he was, he, he has ended up. Uh, I think, however. First of all, I think he's made the cal calculation that uh, he's not going to he, uh, he's not going to win North Carolina like he did last time. Uh, okay. They just had the, the, a referendum right. on uh, um, before they'd already banned gay marriage, and then they had an uh, they, they had an amendment to the Constitution, which mm. is I guess um, just you know, to be clear, a, a, a extra secret <laughs> double probation anti gay yes. marriage exactly. Uh, so so but he and he he made his announcement after right. um, a, after after that. So w w and that passed sixty to forty. Right. So mm. he, given that. That he's probably not putting North Carolina as one of his top uh, as one of his top states. Uh, he won enough last time around that he they can they can move around that. Um, I think they're 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 going to they're factoring that um, most of the people that were against gay marriage right. uh, across the country um, were not voting for Barack Obama um, uh, before. Okay. Uh, flip side of that is that African Americans will vote for him anyway, despite um, despite where he is on on on, on so gay marriage. He's, so he's worried more about losing those progressives that care most well, about gay it, marriage what, 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 um, than he is about blacks. Is this another example of the Democratic Party taking the black vote for granted? Well, well, actually, I mean, yeah, you can say that because look, uh, we can say that African Americans are just voting for him because he's black. But that's actually only part of it. That that I. I <laughs> There was a there was a poll that came out in the Washington Post, I think, late last week, that said that uh, uh, African Americans are, in, in Virginia mm -hmm. are supporting Barack Obama over uh, over Mitt Romney yeah. 97 percent to oh. one. So the joke, of course, there is <laughs> that even in the black community, Mitt, Mitt Romney is the candidate of the one percent. Uh, but but the point but no but the point here is that um, uh, African Americans support. Democrat, Democratic, uh -huh. white, white Democratic um, presidential nominees, uh, 88 between 88 right. and 92 percent. Bill Clinton, um, uh, Bill Clinton, Al Gore, on Al John Al Kerry, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Barack yeah. Obama, obviously being African American himself, he was able to add you know like four or five points to that. I mean, when you're talking about in the in the 90s, it, it, it's 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 the fact that he's it's more that he's D than that, that he happens to be black or white. Sure, but, sure. But but no, where he does have to be cautious though is. The African Americans who do, who will turn out, will vote for him. The mm -hmm. question is, though, will there be a, a certain number in s swing states like Virginia, for example, who are disappointed in this and decide they may not, they may not go to the polls? So it's an enthusiasm thing. It, and I it, guess it he's, could he's worried enthusiasm. more about the enthusiasm of these progressive who care about gay marriage. What he's I also see, got a financial stake here. Uh, the, the Washington Post reported. Um, I think one in six. One, one in si one in six um, bundlers for the who are the fundraisers. Are, are gay, major yeah, fundraisers. Are the major fundraisers are gay. Are, are, are gay. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I want to. I need to say this kind of very clearly. Very clearly here because it, it's kind of fraught with a little bit of sensitivity. Um, Barack Obama has had, uh, at least reportedly, some problems with uh, the Jewish community mm -hmm. because of, of, of his his relationship with uh, Israel and, and particularly his yeah. working relationship sure. with Benjamin Netanyahu. Yeah. Um, that hasn't seemingly translated uh, to poll numbers of the Jewish community um, turning away right. from him. Right. But uh, there is a, there have been at least some uh, uh, anecdotal evidence that some Jewish fundraisers may be holding, holding back. Okay. And it may very well be he has made 
made the dis determination to um, you know to maximize Double the gay support the case, um, yeah. to balance out yeah. what he may be losing uh, losing That's on the uh, in terms of uh, in terms of Jewish support um, as uh, as well. Uh, the, the other quick thing is, I I see the 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 Obama campaign looking at, ironically enough, the 2004 George W. Bush re-election campaign. Right. <laughs> They've made a determination, just as the Bush campaign is, did, that it was going to be a base election. Okay. And so they are figuring yeah. out ways to appeal yeah. to every single part of, the, of, of, the, of, of their base to draw them out in as many waves as possible um, to win a very, very close 50.1% um, um, election. If you remember, and ironically enough, if you remember in 2004, yeah. the way the, the, the Bush operation did this, they, ran, they did a number of same-sex marriage amendments in right. the states to bring, out, to bring out their evangelical vote. Right. So now yeah. with the, the president coming out in favor of same-sex marriage, he wants to try and do the same thing to maximize the progressives, uh, the, the progressives in his party. How should Mitt Romney play this, though? I mean, he, not the way he is already. Well, no. I mean, he could say, you know, uh, when he's asked this question, as he will be at every campaign stop, he could say, "I define marriage as between a man and a woman." Next question. Well, or he could belabor this point because, let's face it, you know, Barack Obama's handed him uh, a turnout card for every social conservative in America on but this the, the issue if he chooses to, the, to the, play it. The, the, the problem, the, the problem that Romney has, though, and and, and this, by the way, is what I know the, 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 they're saying that they they ended up moving this up a little bit because of yeah. Biden. But I also have to wonder whether Romney also caused them to change their strategy a little bit as well. Because remember, it was just a week ago. We were talking yeah. about uh, uh, Romney's gay uh, national, secu uh, uh, national security foreign policy uh, advisor yeah. leaving the campaign, mm -hmm. Rich, Rich, Rich Grinnell, um, mm -hmm. bec apparently, reportedly, because so some social conservatives sure. didn't feel that it was right for the presidential yeah. nominee to have yeah. a gay aide, in, a, a gay aide who, by the way, had uh, had come out in support mm -hmm. of same-sex marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, so that started it. And then Biden makes his comments on Meet the Press. Mm -hmm. The president does his. Uh, uh, Arnie Duncan uh, right. adds yeah. on to that. Uh, Sean the, 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 Donovan, the HUD secretary. Uh, they, 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 before, all yeah. of them start bringing it yeah. out. Then the president comes out. And then remember, you've got a Washington Post story coming that came out on, thir on oh, Thursday today, right. that t talked about yeah. um, Mitt Romney as a bully, possibly even bullying a, an individual that many people assumed to be gay back in the 1950s or 19, yeah. 1960s. Yeah. Well, it seems to me they are kind of doubling down. Down on this idea of kind of gay rights, gay gay marriage, and possibly anti-bullying to maximize that um, to maximize that uh, progressive support and put Mitt Romney on the defensive.